What do you take on a four-month journey to South America when you only have the choice of a backpack and a satchel? Well, I'm about to share that with you. I am so excited about my journey. It starts July 27. I will be in four countries. I'll be traveling with 30 to 40 professionals who travel around the world and they work as they travel so that they can see the world. It's called Remote Year if you would like to look it up. And I wanted to tell you what will be going on this journey with me. I am embracing this. I'm not dreading it or saying, oh my God, I can't carry this or that. I'm not going to be a sissy. We are not going to a remote village where there's no running water. <laughs> now, if we were, I wouldn't need any of this stuff anyway, right? So I have got it figured out. It's all in these bags. I still have room for more stuff. I don't know if I'll take it or not because I know there's going to be stores where I'm going and I'm not going to let this ruin my trip. So I'm just going to embrace it and enjoy it. First thing I want to have with with me uh, on the actual airplane is my overshirt. I always wear a denim overshirt because it turns into a it's, it's a shirt if I need it to be, it's a light jacket if I need it to be, and I always have rubber bands and I can tie it up and um, that's very important to me. Then I have on these shirts from Kmart. It's hard to deal with Kmart, but they have these awesome shirts and they have a bra inside them. And I absolutely love them, so I'm taking a white and a black with me and I may have another one on me. So that will go. I will be wearing these jeans. These are stretch jeans, very, very blue stretch jeans, but I do love them. And I'll have on these shoes or my tennis shoes. My tennis shoes are heavier, so I may have to put on the tennis shoes to get through the airport and then change back into these guys. These guys are called A-E-T-R-E-X, and I swear to God I've never had a more comfortable shoe in my life. They, I picked this up, uh, it's actually on sale, so I got a gray, and I may go and order the black just so I can live with it, uh, and it be my only shoe other than my tennis shoes, because if I take just the gray, I'm a matching freak, and I might have to have black um, to go along with, so I may just get these in black, but I do love these shoes. Now this is a satchel that I think I'm taking, but I'm not sure. Rusk is a, a product, hair products company, and I got this years ago, and it's a really like a rubberized leather. It's a fantastic case, but I'm not sure if it's going to make the journey or not. But I do want you to know what's in it. I'm going to Chile first, and it is Chile in Chile. <laughs> it is uh, 50s and 40s and 30s at night, so I am going to be cold. This is the warmest shirt that I've ever owned. This is a gift, and it is... Uh, War Eagle, and it has the insulation on the inside. That will absolutely be making the trip with me. I will have glasses, two pair. I found a case that was not meant for glasses, but I will have my sunglasses, and then I'll have a pair of reading glasses in here. Then I will have these pants. These pants are windbreaking pants that um, are the warmest workout pants that I have. You notice that... Um, they have a liner, but they're also big, and I can put two pair of leggings underneath them if I need to. And they're very, very, very comfortable. Really kind of slouchy, but that's okay. I don't like to be cold. This, my friends, is a great tip. Now, this can be a belt, and it can also be, I don't know if I'm going to be able to manage this, but it can also be a headband, and I'll have to take a little more time with it than that. But it's a great, a great carry-on, and I used it to wrap up that, um, the, the pants with me. Then I've got my blow-up pillow, flattens down to nothing, and this is my travel pillow, and I love it and have to have it because I fall over when I fall asleep, and uh, my mouth always falls open, so I need to make sure that I can brace myself. Then I will be taking, because I will be vlogging, video logging, I will be taking lights. I have two lights that I will be taking that are very bulky, and I hate that, but I'm doing this, so um, I will make sure I have it. And then I have a belt that is going to be my money belt. Uh, I like, instead of a big fanny pack, I'm going to use this. I will never take my... Um, my uh, passport with me. I will have it in my luggage and I'll have a picture of my passport. I have my license in here and have my money in here and it will be around my waist. And also, I keep most uh, everything in my bra. So uh, the, the money and the ID will be in my bra. The phone would be in here. Okay. Now, what else do we have in here? Oh, this is my pen and paper and you might notice that this pen can be a weapon so I will absolutely have this and hope to get it through the airport and that's a little notepad there 
This is what I will attach to my bra. It is a little tiny, um, uh, I don't know what you call it, a billfold, okay? Uh, I'm torn about the I'm torn about the blow dryer. I'm not sure if I'm going to take it or not because um, of the power situations down there and I don't want to tear it up and then I want to take it and then find out that I really cannot actually do the, um, the power uh, transition with it. So I don't know if it's going or not. Right now it looks like it's going with me. Chargers. Chargers, chargers, chargers. They're everywhere. And then this is my jewelry, and I do a different video on this because I want you to know what I took. And some of this is self-defense jewelry, and so you can see this in another video that will be titled, What Jewelry Would You Take on a Four-Month Journey? And that, my friends, is all that's in that bag. I do take carabiners. I'll have these all around the bag, and I do make sure that I have rubber bands because that can help me fold up things, helps me tie up my shirts, etc., and so that will be on there. Now, my tennis shoes will also have a carabiner on them and they will be attached to one of these two things on the outside of them and they will probably be on my feet as I go through the journey. All right, the backpack itself. I'm excited about this. So I have a life straw. This can, this can filter 700 gallons of water, 744 I do believe gallons of water. How am I looking here? That's pretty cute. All right, so 740 gallons of water. Everything that I drink will go through this straw. It will not be, I will not be drinking the water. That is where people do get, um, I, I like these in Florida too, by the way. Uh, I don't like that, that sulfury taste in the water in Florida. Make sure that you have your backpack identifiable. I have a visor on the outside. And then when I go to the inside, I want to make sure you guys can see this. So I'll back up a little. This pouch is still open. Not sure what I'm going to put in there. I do have my passport. Uh, there's a place for glasses in here, and I can put that pen and pad if I want. Uh, then I have laptop in here, which has a pad. I really like this backpack, and I will be making a link to it. Don't know if it's going to be the ideal thing for me yet because you just don't know until you live it. So I think that I made a good choice and I just didn't want to think this to death and I didn't want to think the whole packing thing to death. I just want to enjoy the journey. And if you do all this obsessing about everything and obsessing about the backpacks, good Lord, there are so many backpacks out there. And yes, I could have had a bigger one, but it would have been more on me, number one. And number two, um, we're only allowed a certain backpack in certain airlines. So I wanted to make sure that I was within the weight limits. And if I got a bigger backpack, I would just pack more stuff in it. I'm not going to a remote jungle. I'm going to be fine. <laughs> and there will be Walmarts, there will be thrift stores and that kind of thing there. So everybody can just calm down. Uh, now, on the one side, I have these. This is a sports bra slash tank top. And it's going to be fantastic because it doesn't have, that hurts me when I have the V in the back. And I think it would hurt most women. So I have this. I have one pair of socks. One pair of socks. And then I have a regular bra, and then I have seven pair of pantes. Seven pair of pantes, which means that I will have to wash clothes every week. Now, I also know that if I use panty liners with those um, panties, I can actually wait longer to wash my pants, and that would be cool. I had to purchase this because... I want people to know that I am from the U.S. of A. I had to have something that said United States on it. And when I'm not wearing that or my visor, I have this guy. This guy is my travel go-to hat, and I absolutely adore him. My little froggy on there. And if I have a flight this very early in the morning, I get up, put this hat on. It is foldable, it is squishable, and it fits perfectly in my luggage. So now I have... The bandana for my hair, I have a visor, I have my USA hat, and I have this one. So I don't have to worry as much about my hair. I have a weird uh, fixation with, with I, don't want, I don't want people's pillows touching me and that kind of thing. So I got, went and got an allergy-free pillow, and when I did that, I knew that I might leave it because it was white. So I'm having my loved one sign it, and I have put quotes all over it, and one of them... I want you to see. <laughs> 
this way I won't leave it inside the um, inside the, the Airbnb which is where we'll be staying okay so that's a good idea I have uh, decided to go the this is called cubes and this backpack has cubes inside it and I've decided to go that route because I did some research and that is the best way to go and I do have a lot of things in here so this is my toiletries and because there's some recommendations in here and there's I mean even though it doesn't like that much this is like a 13 minute video because I want to share some of these awesome things that I have in here with with you um, and so this is uh, the toiletries and then this is going you know when you think about the things that you're taking you have to think fun you have to think of an F word fun and functional okay and this is um, better stevia this is stevia all natural zero calories but this goes in your coffee and this one is called English toffee and then they have a vanilla and then they have a plain that can go in your tea and I made sure to do one plain and one for coffee and this is important to me it's heavy and I probably shouldn't take it but I absolutely love it and I don't know if I'll be able to find it in South America we have been told not to trust uh, that Amazon will get their things there on time and that kind of thing they said just don't trust that system plus we don't find out our address until about two weeks before the journey so I would only have two weeks to get something sent there and I might not get it before we leave at the end of the month so everything that I have I will just purchase now the next thing that I have here is the this is the meat of everything that's going to go with me okay this is the clothing and it appears that I have already <laughs> okay uh, yeah, this is just such a sweet, sweet thing, but I put a fishing line on the end of it, and as a result, it got stuck in my zipper. But I have met a man uh, here at the, the condos where I live, and his daughter uh, made this in school. And I am on my way to South America, and him, uh, everywhere, he, he's traveled around the world, and he takes this heart to show his daughter. So he's got a picture of this with the Eiffel Tower in the background, and every important uh, moment he's got with this here to let his daughter know that he's thinking about her. And he asked me to take this on the trip, and I just thought that was so sweet. And so now we are going to wear this thing out um, for uh, our young friend, and we're going to have it in a lot of different places. Her name is Victoria, and everywhere we go, this heart is going to go, and I bet you this heart's going to end up in some phenomenal pictures. So that's the first thing. Pretty heavy, <laughs> but that'll be okay. All right, now, you must have a Diddy bag. We've just named this Diddy bag in our home, and this Diddy bag is for your little day trips, and it's just a drawstring bag, and you must have this because you don't want to take everything with you each time, but you might need to take an extra jacket or something. It won't fit in your fanny pack, so make sure you have a Diddy bag, and there is my Diddy bag, all right? I have athletic shirts that have bras inside them, and then I wear an athletic bra as well. This shirt can be worn with just like black pants or it can be worn when I exercise and I fully intend to do that. These pants are yoga pants and they are, they can also be dress pants. So they are going and they will be my going out at night pants and they'll also be my traveling or hiking or whatever during the day pants. I believe in bright colors and so I have several shirts here but they will probably not make the journey. I have started a store and it's called mtnester.net and it has humorous t-shirts and and uh, different things in it in the store so I'll probably have a hoodie from them and I'll probably have um, you know uh, some of my own t-shirts so that I can of course sell them. But some of these things will go and, and this is just a, a lightweight shirts okay and then the leggings are so important. So layering up is gonna be important because I'm gonna be in several different climates. Sometimes it's gonna be hot, sometimes it's gonna be cold. But I have two pair of long leggings and then I have two pair of shorter leggings. And that way I can, when I'm not, when I'm uh, hot, cold, I can have the two pair underneath this nice pair of wind breaking pants. Um, and I could, I can be totally warm. I'm also got one thing that's not in this backpack yet. And it is um, one of those jackets that, that you can, it comes in a pack, no kidding. It, it packs up into a bag this big and it's a down jacket. It goes poof when you take it out and it is really, really warm. So I am uh, in the process of ordering that and I don't know which one I'm gonna get yet. So I know it will be in this bag, but it will 
will take up very little room and it can fit in my ditty bag when we go on our uh, journeys outside of the cities where we're staying because we plan to see as many countries as we possibly can. Next, we're taking one swimsuit and this swimsuit top will also be pretty underneath um, a shirt, a, 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 a over shirt um, and I can just, just lace up some and that will be uh, good for that. Then an athletic shirt and this goes over my swimsuit um, bottom which will just be panties black panties because I don't want to take a swimsuit it's bulky and that's I, I've already got like seven pair of black panties over there so I don't I don't go without them, uh, the skirt anyway so that is the swimsuit t-shirt guess what this one says James got this for me <laughs> So this will be a t-shirt that I will absolutely be taking. And then I have a rain jacket that is lightweight that can fold up really tiny. I can use one of my rubber bands if I want to, but it is a, it's very lightweight and very, very thin. And so it's a great thing to have and to go into the uh, back. I got another hat. Don't know if all of them will make it, but I do have another hat. I may not take a visor. All right, then I have um, this is a smart thing because it can be a swimsuit cover-up, it can be a go-out-at-night thing, um, and it can be a nightgown. And so it's super, super light and lightweight, and so it makes sense to take it along. And then I've got one really, this is my going-out top. It's just, you know, some, it's got some color to it, but everything else is very basic and very dark. And so that you don't, if you don't, you don't get it dirty. Another pair of shorter leggings, and oh, one more dressy shirt. So this shirt will take go with me, and I'll be wearing the black pants with it. I am taking one fan. I think that's important. I am taking sunscreen, but I'm going to take it in samples. So each one of these is a sample, and then I can buy sunscreen. I don't need to be having sunscreen for four months, and I don't know how hot it'll be and where it will be hot. It's not going to be hot and chilly because we're going to be there, and it's going to be cold. And then I have another pair of shorter leggings and an athletic um, workout shirt and one tennis skirt black of course all your bottoms need to be black or a very neutral color i'm taking one pair of jeans and everything else is black then i can play a little bit around with the color these shirts that i think are fantastic are called basic editions and they, you can find these at uh, kmart and you can find them at sears i believe um, but I, I've had a tough time ordering them online. I got one black, I got one white, and then I will probably have one on as well. And I turn them around backwards so that they're not too scoopy low in the back. And I have found those pants to be um, amazing. And I, I think I've already shown you the front of this where I have, yep, I've already shown you that. And that, my friends, is how you pack for four months uh, to go on a journey through South America. I would love for you to follow. I would love for you to join my community. It's not just about the travel, even though this is going to be fun. It is about a life mission to change and alter the educational system. And it's also um, an opera, it's a bucket list thing. Um, so I think that you could enjoy this journey along with me, and I would love to have you along. If you could please follow and like and share and subscribe and tell your friends so that we can go on this journey together, you will eventually be a part of something so much bigger than all of us. That is the goal. That is, the, that is what I'm going for, reaching for, and, um, and I hope that this journey and the community that I build will be uh, along for that journey. And so this heart and your heart is going to go along with me. I look forward to having you, and we will look forward to, uh, to exploring together. Have a phenomenal day.